What is up guys? Welcome back to a very, very exciting episode of Hook and Bass 92. In today's exciting episode, I am going pond fishing today at the local pond like I always do, but I'm going to have a special guest and his name is Ian. I've been fishing with Ian for about four to five years. He already lives like 10 minutes from me, but I think he moved to Tennessee for work. So I haven't seen him in a year. Um, we do a lot of catfishing together, but today he just called me and wanted to go to the pond and fish. And I told him the pond was very, very juicy today since it's uh, spring it's been about 80 for two weeks straight so that water temperature about 70 to 65 to 70 degrees those bass are spawning and i really do think we're going to catch a very very big bass today we're going to throw first as a top water i don't know what he's going to throw so i'm going to pack up all my things now i'm meeting him at the pond and i will meet him and i'll meet him at the pond i should be there in about what two to three minutes so i'm going to have to pack up all my stuff hopefully we can catch a big bass today all right guys let's do this worm i'm gonna try this in a small pond ian's using it as like a, a wacky rig wacky worm baby wacky worm and i'm just using it as like a um regular ned rig which basically is a uh jig head with a little worm on it so i'm gonna drag this across the bottom and see if anything will hit it i'm pretty sure something will where were those bass that you saw they were over there Oh, if they're swimming in two, they're not carp because carp swim by themselves. Yeah, there we go. There we go. There we go. Got him? Yeah. It's a good one. That worm. Nice. First fish of the day, like I said, on the Ned Rig first cast. Right here. Oh, yeah. I need to throw one on. Right there first. It's just a little guy, but he was hungry and. On the first cast, literally first cast, he ate it. So I knew this rig would work. Caught on top of the mouth, right on top. There we go, first fish. Let's get this dude a release, see ya. But like I said, it's had to throw something a little bit smaller. And they like tend to go after it. Like this rig is like a jig head basically with a worm on it. If those two big ones hit it that you saw, my line might step. I only got six pound tests. Yeah, dude, they've been hitting curly tails. That's what I've been hearing too lately around here. Where are you hooking it? Just right through the head and pull it through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But push the worm all the way up to like the um, head. Yeah. Like hook it and push it up to the head so it sets perfect. That's one fish. We'll see if we can get any more. Ian's going to switch to the Ned Rig too. I, uh, I think I still have, do you have some curly, you, you got, yeah, you got curly tails. Yeah. Uh, all right, he's got a curly tail too, so we should, he should be good to go too. I'm just trying to figure out where this big bass were. I saw two of them before, but then that guy came out of nowhere and started yelling at us. We told him our address and he completely like, ignored it. Then I told him I don't have to live here just to reverse it, but I mean, it's whatever. They're not going to be able to do anything. I live back here. They're just people looking for something that have nothing else to do. So we'll just ignore that and we'll just keep on fishing. Reel. Yeah, I let it sit on. I got. I let it. Here comes another one. I just let it sit on the bottom. Let it sit on the bottom and I barely reel it in. So it's like dragging. And I think it's injured and they'll hit it. Oh, he's coming for it. Get him. Oh, there's a giant bass. Come on, you want a tube? 
Ian! Ian! A giant. I'll stay there, pup. I'll break the line. Yes. Badger right there off the tube. Worked perfect. Look how he ate it. Yeah! So what happened was I threw it in there. I saw him sitting there. As soon as I dropped the tube in there, he smashed it. There we go. Let's get it. Second fish, second fish of the day. This is awesome. It's a lot bigger than the first one we caught. Pretty decent size, as you guys can see. It's good fish. See you. That was fun. That was a good one. It wasn't too, they're not too big, but they put up a fight, and that was awesome because I watched him eat it. He, I literally watched him eat that. I literally threw it right in front of his face, and as soon as he saw it, he ate it. Fantastic. See if we can get some more. See if this tube can do something. Gonna go to the same spot where I had to hit on the frog. See if he came back. I don't know, there might be sticks here I might get stuck on, but it's worth it because that fish should have been big. There's giant fish in here. Jig head. See if this dude comes back. Thank you.